Hey folks, Peter here, back with another fingerboard video. This time we're going to do a bit of a product review. Now, recently in the mail, I got something that I ordered from eBay. Uh, I got some wheels and some bushings, and they are actually from Teak Tuning. Uh, didn't know that when I ordered them. There was no product marking, as it were, on eBay. Uh, I just saw some wheels, and I saw some bushings, and these are actually glow-in-the-dark which I think is pretty cool. But I didn't see this packaging, so Teak Tuning made these. Uh, so we're gonna check them out. We're gonna put them on my trusty old 32 millimeter board here. This is pretty much my main board whenever I'm sitting around, kinda just messing around with the board. And uh, we're gonna actually put on the trucks from that tech deck I did a video on the other day. The wider trucks, the 32 millimeter trucks. And I'm gonna use the dome washers because I think they'll match up really nicely with these bushings. I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. So here we have the bearing wheels and the bushings. And they also sent me a little uh, little sticker. I think that's supposed to be bushings on a uh, truck axle there. Pretty cool. What I really liked about these bushings, I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but these are actually conical shaped. These are not just flat walled or O-rings. So I'm really excited to see how those work especially now that we have these domed washers from this tech deck. We'll get a look here in just a minute. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these hangers off of this tech deck and we're gonna swap them out with these trucks here, just the hangers, and uh, put on the bearing wheels, the bushings, and those dome washers. So first things first, let's go ahead and just kind of take these trucks off. Just like that. One thing I don't like about the bushings that come with these tech decks that I didn't cover in the other video is I've barely even skated this. And if you look closely, do you see this piece hanging off of here? The, uh, they tighten it down or maybe it was too wide or something, but I actually cut a little piece off of there. I don't really think that's gonna affect the board too much or the bushings, but it is something to note. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. There we go, we can go and set this one aside. Don't really need it for anything else right now. We have our fingerboard here, the wooden fingerboard. Go ahead and take this apart and it is all sorts of dirty. Uh, you're not really gonna see it on camera, but I did make an attempt to take flat washers and kind of reshape them. Uh, and I, if I had this thing called a dapping tool, I'd be able to dome those pretty easily, but I was literally just using some pliers and bending them. So it didn't work out too well. These actually did hold their shape though, so I think I was onto something with that. But now that tech deck has the dome washers out, don't really need them. If you guys also are looking at the board here, you see this little piece of white down here. I took a business card of mine and actually just cut my own little riser pads out. Nothing too fancy or super proper, but I think they will do the trick. Do I notice a difference with them? Not too much, but those also aren't really that high. Uh, just uh, something to try out. It's about maybe a millimeter, if even that, that I raise these up. So nothing too noticeable. If I did some more, I'd you know get it up a little bit higher. I might start to notice it, but as it is now, I'm not really noticing them. So we are gonna go ahead and put on our dome washers. And I don't really think these have a top or a bottom. I think they just kind of go on whichever way. I gotta get them apart here too. So yeah, both of the uh, tech deck bushings had that little bit of um, rubber getting cut off there. Not a huge deal, I don't think. But uh, let's check out these teak tuning bushings now, if I can get this on here. There we go. Uh, so again, these are a conical shape instead of just the flat cylinder or the O-ring. Go and rip this open here. Guess I didn't really have to rip it open. It was in a uh, Ziploc bag. And I kind of got these because they are uh, glow in the dark. <laughs> What can I say? I'm kind of just a big kid. 
Get those out of there. I don't think these have a top or a bottom bushing either. I think they just uh, kind of put them where you need to. So let's uh, let's try these out here. And they do feel really soft too. Um, I don't know if those have a shape or anything, but uh, that looks good already. And I do like that with that dome washer. I think once we get them all in, we'll probably scrunch them down a little bit. And maybe I don't even need those washers, but I do want to try them out just to see how it works. Hold on now. Huh. I think I might actually have to switch out the base plates too. I'm looking at the uh, the hangers here, and I don't know if these are just repainted tech deck trucks or whatever, but I am noticing a bit of a shape there. A little bit of a shape difference. So I might actually have to switch out the whole, the whole truck, including the base plate. Otherwise, I don't know if you guys can really see that, but that's kind of sitting up there way high. Uh, let's try it. <laughs> oh yeah, these are, uh, now that I have these side by side, these are a way longer kingpin. So I'm gonna have to actually switch these out. Give me just a minute here. So before I get too much further, there's a few things I wanna point out. Uh, the truck base plate that I had on there, a little bit shorter kingpin with a longer threading, and then the new Tech Deck one that I did that review on the other day, that kingpin is actually a little bit longer with a shorter threading, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see how this looks when I get it all together. Okay, so we're gonna get those dome washers on again. Hopefully I can use those, because I think that'll make it look really slick. Uh, but if not, oh well, we'll just take them off. Use them for something else. Now this should all fit really well. And I've got the little pivot cup material on there again. Oh yeah, that's fitting a lot better. These seem like they're gonna be really high. Okay, another dome washer. And then keep in mind, these are the dome washers from the tech deck. Uh, this Teak Tuning Company, I actually did some research and they do also sell their own dome washers which I think is pretty cool um, I don't know if they're meant to go with these bushings or not but that's what I'm using them for so yeah I'm gonna go with it and I think that that might actually be a little bit too high Here, let me see if I can't kind of squash everything down a little bit yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to use the uh, the dome washers, too. Well, as you can tell, I uh, clearly planned this video out start to finish. <laughs> oh, we should be okay. Oh, yeah, no, that's not going to work for me. Uh, you're not going to really see it on the camera. But that is definitely squishing these bushings out, which uh, I do not want to do. So let's go ahead and take off those dome washers. Well, that's a little unfortunate, but oh well. So we get just just the uh, bushing on there, no uh, no washer. Oh, what was that? Uh, actual bushing company for skateboards that did that i think it was bones bones hardcores i think they were called oh yeah so that is on there now one thing that always bugs me is when the the nut is sitting below the end of the threading um but i'm gonna have to do some sanding or grinding or something because it seems like that's above the hanger. So when you're doing like a 50-50 or something, you're going to feel that if you get it right on there. And you're also going to scratch everything up, which is no fun. I think this is going to be super soft. But it's not like loose or anything. It's just really soft. And these are also bigger trucks. So I think they're going to be kind of, you know, pushing on them a little bit more. So we get that pushed down there. And that tightened down. 
Yeah, those are gonna be hoo -hoo -hoo, really loose. This also feels like it's a higher board, but I think that's just my mind playing tricks on itself. Uh, so before I even switch out the wheels, as you can see, those are nice and flush there. Uh, I don't know if that's a really good example, but those are nice and flush. Uh, if you're doing a lot of primos, maybe that's good. Yeah, first skateboard I ever had, had narrow trucks on a wide board. And uh, it didn't work out too well, for primos anyway. For just riding around, it was fine. Uh, so let's get these bearing wheels out. These are just single bearing clear wheels, which I think is kind of cool. We get those on there. Uh, and like I said, these are items from Teak Tuning that I bought myself. The, they didn't send me anything. Uh, they didn't pay for it. I mean, they obviously sent me this stuff. But uh, yeah, I paid for it. So I don't know if I need to disclose that or anything, but the views here are, uh, they're not paid for or sponsored by anybody. I always hate getting these nuts back on the first couple of times, especially if you th thread them up there wrong. Oh, that's on there. That is definitely on there. Now it'd be kind of nice to have some of those spacers maybe for something like this, just to kind of keep that bearing uh, space out and keep the wheel off of the truck. Nothing I'm too worried about though. Let's get these other wheels on here and check it out. So as I'm getting this last wheel on, something else I'm noticing about these Tech Tech trucks is the threading on the axles there are also really, really, really short. So uh, when you tighten down the nut here, it's not gonna have the threading sticking through the nut. And if you're landing on the side of the board, uh, like Primo, you're not gonna be gouging uh, you know, your desk or your tabletop or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. Let's get that all together there. But yeah, they're sticking, they're in the wheel. They're not uh, poking out on the outsides there. Uh, these seem like they roll re really well. Pretty solidly made, they're all even. Uh, they're all the same width. There's no excess sticking out on the ends. Uh, the bearings are pushed in there pretty well. About the same size as a Tech Deck wheel, pretty close. Uh, diameter and shape. This one might just have a little bit more curve on the sides there. But uh, let's get all this stuff out of the way here. If these end up being too soft for me, I might put one of the dome washers on, or maybe I'll just use flat washers, we'll see. But uh, if I need to put one on, maybe I'll do that, or just try the flat washers. But as it stands, these are uh, these are definitely pretty loose, so we'll see how I like it. Okay, so here we go. This is our uh, board set up with the new wheels, uh, the new bushings, those glow in the dark conical bushings, and the wide tech deck trucks. Rolls pretty smooth. Uh, let's go ahead and try a kickflip on here. Sloppy, but that was first try. It definitely feels uh, really, really loose, and it makes it feel kind of floaty, which I kind of like. These might just be just a little bit too loose for me. Uh, I can always try tightening them down a little bit. I do see some gaps between the bushings and the hanger. So maybe if I just give it just a, just a quick turn. And that's actually as tight as those nuts are gonna get because of the threading on these Tech Deck trucks uh, on the hangers there. Still pretty floaty feeling. And I'm trying to keep all the tricks low so they stay on camera there. But uh, I dig them. I dig, uh, I dig the wider trucks. Nice and flush with the board there. Uh, which I really like. Let's do, uh, let's do a couple grinds. Now, I'm gonna note here, if I put this, I don't know if you can, so if I push this all the way up so that the edge of the ledge here is on the, the hanger, nothing. But if we slide it over so it's right on that kingpin, you see that there? You get that really, ugh, that gross sound. Um, and that's been a problem with a lot of a lot of fingerboard trucks, 
So I can't really fault him for doing that. Of course, if you're doing a nose or a 5.0 or anything, you know, you're not going to notice that kingpin as much. But when you lay it down, that's when it puts it right on there. And there you have it, folks. That was the uh, new bearings and bushings from Teak Tuning. So if you want to check those out, I'll put a link to their website down below, teaktuning.com. Pretty easy to remember there. Uh, the softer trucks, or the softer bushings, I guess, made it a little harder to hit some flip tricks, personally. But when you hit them, they're nice and flowy. I really like that. Hopefully I caught that with the tricks I just did. Just a little quick session. Um, but what else I do really like about the soft bushings is if you are pushing down a lot on one side, your board doesn't get that weird little you know kink to it like some bushings get. Like this is the low side, this is the high side. So if I want to do a heel flip, you know, you can flick it this way to get like an extra flick or anything. Um, they always seem to come right back to center there. And I don't know if you can really see that, but those things are pretty dang flat right there. Uh, the wheels rolled pretty decently. I might put a little bit of oil in there just to kind of smooth them out. Um, and that's just personal preference again. I like them nice and smooth, like those white wheels that I had. Those were oiled after I cleaned them. Ooh, buttery smooth, let me tell you. So I do enjoy these. I do like the bushings. I like the wheels. I like the wider hangers from the Tech Deck trucks there. And uh, this is uh, this is going to be a fun fingerboard now. This just kind of revived this board a little bit. Not that it was really out of shape or anything. Uh, I like the way it was set up. But now I've got the, the trucks that actually match it. Make it look a little bit nicer too. If you guys can uh, kind of see that. I like how it looks. Nice wood board, foam grip, 32 millimeter, 32 millimeter trucks. It all matches up. The uh, makeshift riser pads that I had, teak tuning bearing wheels, and the uh, not the clear, the uh, the glow in the dark bushings. There, uh, I checked them out the other night uh, after hitting them with a black light. They didn't really shine or glow too long, but the effect is there, and it works well enough. So I enjoy that. Uh, if you guys want to see me review any other products uh, from Teak Tuning or any other brand, let me know. And if I can get my hands on it, I will try to make a video. Certain tricks you want to see in an upcoming video, let me know. All that fun stuff. Comments down below, folks. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Share it with all your friends. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.